And so uh, for me, I'm really excited to see someone actually take a wearable and focus in. I'm sorry, this is gonna be really hard for me to get through. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. And today we're looking at the Keen 2. This is a wearable that everybody should really know about, but it's a wearable that I hope you never have to actually use. Let me go ahead and explain that a little bit more. The Keen 2 is a wearable that's designed for those that have a compulsive disorder. Think of it as kind of like an, a kind of OCD, obsessive compulsive behavior towards body picking or hair pulling or nail biting. So uh, we're probably pretty familiar with the idea of those that bite their nails. I'm one of them. I bite my nails kind of compulsively and sometimes like subconsciously. I'm not even aware that I'm doing it. Uh, and so the Keen 2 is definitely designed for those of us that, you know, bite our nails. It's it's uh, and we'll get into how that works. Uh, but it's specifically designed for those that have trichotillomania or trick for short, which is a hair pulling disorder. Uh, that causes someone to oftentimes subconsciously pull their hair out unawares in the same way that someone would bite their nails unawares. Uh, so this can oftentimes happen when they're laying in bed and they're kind of drifting off to sleep. Uh, it can happen when they're watching a movie, when they're reading a book, they can kind of subconsciously begin to pull their hair out. So essentially what the Keen 2 does is that it has built-in algorithms that can detect when you begin to engage in that compulsive behavior, perhaps totally subconsciously, and it will vibrate in order to bring that behavior into the conscious mind. It's to bring about awareness so that way the person who is engaging in that behavior uh, can stop and can begin to kind of recognize triggers and recognize when they're doing uh, that behavior and uh, in an effort to try to uh, curb those symptoms and, and, um, and see you know, success uh, and control, take back some control uh, over their disorder. Now this wearable is of particular interest to me and my family, um, not just because I bite my nails, but because uh, one of my children suffers with trichotillomania with trick and has um, this compulsive hair pulling. And it's, it's progressed to the point of where um, we're looking at more aggressive treatments and solutions. And, um, and so this one's gonna be hard, I'm, I'm sorry. This, this one's a little bit more personal. Um, the, the thing that frustrates me about, I'm not trying to get political here, but the thing that frustrates me about disorders like alopecia or trichotillomania or you know kids that have um, leukemia childhood cancer uh, and they um, they oftentimes are, are, are losing hair and um, and insurance companies don't view things like wigs or hair growth treatments many times a lot of insurance companies view that as vanity you know things uh, they would put that in line with like cosmetic treatment uh, and so they don't cover it. So families are saddled with the uh, burden and the medical costs of trying to treat these things themselves. And um, and that's just, that's wrong. In my opinion, that's immoral. Um, it's, it's not a vanity thing, it's a humanity thing. And, um, you know, these kids uh, should be treated with dignity. And, and having something as humane as hair growing on your head uh, isn't a vanity thing, that's a humanity thing. And they should be given every opportunity to live as normal of a life as possible. And so uh, for me, I'm really excited to see someone actually take a wearable and focus in. I'm sorry, this is gonna be really hard for me to get through. Um, and so for me, I'm really excited that this company is producing this wearable. It's being produced uh, by uh, individuals or at least one individual that I know of that um, uh, suffers from trichotillomania. And so this was something that they designed using their technologically gifted brain in order to try to help others that are struggling with trichotillomania. And so let me go ahead and just talk a little bit about how this wearable works. So the way that it works is this, you wear the wearable on your wrist and it can detect, you, you have it kind of record you doing the activity that you don't want to do. So for example, if you bite your nails, 
you put the wearable on, you set it up so that it's recording that behavior and the algorithm will learn from you kind of biting your fingernails um, or picking at your skin or pulling at your hair. And, and once it learns kind of that behavior, it, it, the algorithm is kind of built in with, with those motions of your body doing whatever activity it is that you don't wanna do, then the next time that you begin to go do that activity, the wearable will vibrate, bringing that subconscious behavior into your awareness so that you can try to stop. And, um, and so uh, for, for me, I wore it for about a week, you know, just seeing how it worked with me biting my fingernails. And here's what I would say. Uh, for me, you know, wearing it uh, and biting my fingernails, it definitely worked in terms of uh, bringing it into my conscious mind. There were plenty of times where I'd be sitting on the couch, maybe getting ready to watch TV or, or just do something. And, um, and I went to go bite my nails and it would vibrate and let me know, hey, you know, uh, you're getting ready, you're biting your nails. And so I would immediately be able to stop, right? And re kind of recalibrate my mind. And so it definitely worked in that capacity. Now, what I will say is this, uh, wearing it during the day also uh, triggers a lot of false positives because there's plenty of times where I'm bringing my hand up towards my mouth to maybe take a bite of food if I have some food in my hands and I'm going to eat the, the food. Um, or if I go to scratch my head or if I would sometimes just get my hand in a certain position, it would kind of trigger a false positive and it would vibrate. And so that can get a little bit annoying. And um, but that said, that's for nail biting. And really, this this wearable, it's been adapted more towards those that do things like picking at the skin and nail biting. It's really designed for those that have trichotillomania. And in that regards, it's actually an excellent device because a lot of people who have trichotillomania tend to kind of pull their hair uh, when they're laying in bed at night, kind of falling asleep, drifting off to sleep, or in the middle of the night, even um, they'll they'll pull hair. And so that's where this is really, really helpful because um, you might need to be woken up. And, uh, and so in your sleep uh, or when you're kind of dozing off and maybe engaging in that subconscious behavior, this can be really, really helpful to wear at night specifically. So that way, when you begin to engage in that behavior, it wakes you up out of your sleepiness or your slumber and makes you aware of what you're doing so that you can stop. And so that in that regards, it's very, very helpful and effective. Now, uh, what I would say is, again, it is kind of annoying to wear during the day. And so for those that uh, struggle with trichotillomania or nail biting, I would say that it's probably not something that would work for us wearing during the day because it triggers so many false positives, it would just become super frustrating and annoying. But it is something to wear uh, at nighttime or other times where you might, you know, kind of be aware that you'd be more likely to pull. And so, uh, so I highly recommend this wearable. Okay, so let me talk about what you get out of the box and the app. Uh, it's really a simple device. I mean, you have a charging cradle with a magnetic back to it so that the unit kind of magnetizes itself to the cradling base. It's got a three pin charger on the back of the watch that just connects to the three pin charger on the charging unit and then it charges and you can see there's a magnetic uh, way that it just kind of sticks to that base. The watch also has a raise to wake feature. So when you pull the watch up to take a look, you'll have the time and date and battery life and that's about it. Now the watch also does have a physical button on the side that allows you to manually activate the screen and that's about it in terms of the physical features on the watch. It is a unibody design, so you're gonna have uh, integrated watch straps, so um, you're not gonna be able to swap out any watch straps or anything like that. It's just kind of a one piece design, uh, which I would have liked to see some replaceable watch straps because they are pretty soft material. They're comfortable, but I'm not sure how long they'll last. The app is pretty simple as well. It just has a top section where it allows you to basically get some helpful information uh, about the watch and about various conditions. And then you also have a section where you can go ahead and train the watch to recognize certain gestures that you would like it to uh, basically give you warnings about. The watch also has a section that allows you to basically log your behavior. So if you're noticing um, you know, that you're picking at a particular time or pulling at a particular time, you can log that behavior and what's going on and what's surrounding that behavior, which then can allow you to
to notice patterns of either triggers or certain times of the day or night uh, where behavior is going to be a little bit more, you know, pronounced. And that's pretty much it. There's, you know, a couple of other things I could mention about the app, but overall, it's very, very simple. The device is really designed not to be a fitness tracker, not to provide really any other function other than being an awareness tool, something that helps you become aware about behavior that you're trying to stop. And in that regards, it's very helpful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the price and website and information up on screen. So if there is anybody out there in the audience that struggles with trichotillomania, I want to let you know that <laughs> my heart really goes out to you. I've seen it firsthand and, and how much it sucks. And, uh, and um, I would recommend taking a look at this product. It's worth a shot. So I know I've been kind of an emotional mess uh, for this review. Um, I don't know that there would be any other way for me to do it because it's so personal. Uh, but thanks for watching. And um, if anybody can get some help or if this fell onto anybody's radar or if you know of anybody that struggles with trichotillomania, uh, please send them this video. And then the other thing that I would say is this. If you don't struggle with trichotillomania and you have the ability to donate your hair, uh, please do so. Um, there are a lot of kids out there that struggle with all kinds of disorders, not just trichotillomania, but all kinds of illness and sickness that need human hair to, to make wigs. And so I've begun to grow out my hair. Uh, everyone in my family has begun to grow out their hair in order that we can donate this, uh, our hair to, um, to the cause of trichotillomania. So I'd encourage you guys to uh, support trichotillomania um, or those that suffer from trichotillomania in any way that you possibly can. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. We'll catch you next time.